Hi, and welcome to this digital tour of the CDC's Planning and Implementing Screening and Brief Intervention for Risky Alcohol Use, a step-by-step -step guide for primary care practices. This was developed by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the National Center on Birth Defects and Developmental Disabilities. First, a little background. At least 38 million adults drink too much, but only about 5 million are actually diagnosed as alcoholics. Drinking too much includes high daily use, binge drinking, high weekly use, and any alcohol use by pregnant women or those under age 21. Excessive drinking causes about 88,000 deaths in the U.S. each year, and in 2006 cost the economy about $224 billion. What can screening do? Well, research shows that health professionals can use alcohol screening and brief intervention, SBI, to help people who are drinking too much to drink less. A recent study showed, though, that only one in six adults ever reported talking with their doctor or other healthcare professional about their alcohol use levels. So to address this gap, the CDC created a 10-step implementation guide for alcohol screening and brief intervention. And we're going to look at that just a little bit deeper. The CDC guide is divided into four major sections, laying the groundwork for SBI, adapting alcohol SBI to your practice, implementing alcohol SBI in your practice, and refining and promoting SBI for alcohol use. These four sections were then divided into a 10-step guide. So as you can see, these are the four sections that I just mentioned, and these are the 10 steps under those sections. Let's take a look at the implementation guide itself. It can easily be downloaded. We'll have a link below this recording for you to download this guide. It's free to use and disseminate further. And it's really the most concise overview of alcohol SBI um, intervention that I have seen in a while. Uh, we're just going to take a look at uh, the table of contents very quickly. Uh, it has a nice introduction and lays the foundation of why alcohol screening in primary care is very important. Uh, it gives you implementation strategies for adopting SBI into a primary care setting. And not, um, it goes a little further because we don't only have to adopt it, but we actually have to implement it, which means you should set up time for a pilot testing or elicit support for this initiative if you are adopting SBIRT at any time. And then we can't just implement something and then let it go. We should continually monitor the program and update the plan, see what's working, what may not be working. And then finally, the guide has a lot of really outstanding ESPER or screening and brief intervention resources. Um, so I would really encourage you to look at the appendices as well as the implementation steps. For instance, they have all the screens that have been validated and researched, the single question, question alcohol screen, the uh, three question audit or the full 10 question audit. They have other screens. Um, and they have a section that links to implementation billing strategies and what billing codes are open in uh, various states across the U.S. So overall, I would just encourage you to take a second look at planning and implementing screening and brief intervention for risky alcohol use, step-by-step -step guide for primary care practices. If you are not a primary care practice but you work with one, I would suggest that you send them this link and ask them to adopt alcohol screening for all their patients universally. Thank you for your time.